feature of the week is the Navigate Split Floor Command. This feature allows us to utilize Revit's out-of-the-box detail lines to split any floor within our project. This could be to change the floor type or to modify the design of these floor slabs. And this isn't easy to do in out-of-the-box Revit as we would have to edit the boundary and then make a new floor so that we can just split one floor. But now with Navigate, we can use detail lines to split our floors. You can see here that my floor slab is taking up the entire floor. But maybe I want to split, let's say, the vestibule out so that I can change the floor type and add some design to my floor slab. Simply use Revit to draw any detail line exactly where you want the floor to be split. Now, I'm just going to isolate the lines and the floor slab so I can better see them. And then use my Navigate Split Floor feature to split the floor. Simply select the command, select the floor slab you want to split, and then the line to split it with. And just like that, Navigate split it into two different floor slabs. Now, I just showed you how to use a straight line to split the floor, but we can use any curves or arcs or splines to split the floor so that we can cut our slabs with straights and different angles or different curves as well. So I'm gonna draw a spline with many curves so I can show you just how we can use any line type to split our floors. Once that line is drawn, we can use the split floor command, select the floor slab and the line, and just like that, it again split the floor exactly where we want it. Now we can do what we need to change the design up, select different floor types, and easily split our floor using the Navi Architecture Split Floor command.